Hi, it's Erica Wong, registered dietitian, and today I'm making meatloaf. So I've got a pound of ground beef in my bowl. To that, I'm gonna add an egg, of course, to help bind the meatloaf together. And some panko breadcrumbs, or you can use regular Italian breadcrumbs. I don't really measure. I'm probably putting in about a half a cup. And what I'm also adding to my beef meatloaf are cooked lentils. So I buy this in a box in my refrigerated section of the grocery store. I could have certainly cooked these from dried and start from scratch, but I'm all about saving time right now. And I'm gonna put in about half of this uh, package and I'm just gonna squeeze these out. So this ends up being, I would say about a cup of lentils. And I'm just gonna work this in to the beef mixture. This is the perfect blend of our animal protein with our beef and our plant protein with the lentils. So we're getting the best of both. And for me, it's a win because my kids don't pick out the lentils. They don't really notice that they're there, but they're excited that we're getting beef and meat and having the meatloaf for dinner. So on the stove top, I've also got some onion sauteing. I really like to cook them down pretty far. So they're almost like jammy. They're really yummy and sweet. And that's gonna add great flavor. I'm also gonna add some balsamic vinegar because I love this tang that comes uh, into, into the flavor of the meatloaf. I'll probably do a couple tablespoons. And then the final ingredient is just some fresh thyme. So I'm just gonna strip some of these leaves off and add that nice fresh kind of herby flavor. With my meatloaf, I'm gonna be serving potatoes. My kids love potatoes, I love potatoes. Um, I often hear a lot of people, you know, saying they're trying to stay away from potatoes, but really they're full of fiber, potassium, they're a plant food, and we do wanna keep including more plants into the diet, even in the form of potatoes. So, I love them all, but today we're using russets. And I'm actually going to cook them in my oven with, along with the meatloaf. And I'm not gonna do mashed potatoes tonight, but I am gonna smash them, so I'll show you that in a minute. I'm also gonna serve alongside some broccoli, and that'll be done. Dinner is done. My kids will be happy. I'm happy because I'm always trying to fit in more beans or lentils into our weekly meals. And pretty much wherever I'm using ground beef, I'm probably also using lentils. Whether I'm making little slider hamburgers or regular hamburgers, uh, whether I'm making meatballs or meatloaf, <laughs> I'm pretty much following this 50-50 split of the meat uh, and the plant protein. So that looks pretty well combined. And then I'm just gonna form this into a pretty shallow loaf on my baking sheet because I want this to cook faster. And you can see the lentils are distributed throughout and they're gonna cook nicely right along with the beef. The flavor will be fantastic because of those kind of jammy onions and the balsamic and this is ready to go. With my russets, I just got them cleaned up and I typically just cut them into like thirds depending on how big they are. I am just going to I'll just show you. I just arranged these cut set up on my baking sheet. Then I'm going to pop them into the oven at about 450 for however long. Sometimes it's 20 minutes, sometimes it's 30. And once they're fairly soft and fork tender, I'm going to take a cup, just a glass drinking cup, and I'm going to smash down the tops of each of them. So a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, and I'll pop them back into the oven to get those edges kind of nice and crispy and, and um, a little more golden. And then serve that, kind of just, we serve it right off the baking sheet along with the meatloaf, and I'll either saute or steam up um, the broccoli to go with it. So that's the meatloaf dinner for tonight. We're having lots of plants throughout. I love including potatoes in the dinner as well. And I hope that you'll try this kind of blend of our animal and plant protein so that we can all be including more plant protein on a regular basis. Bye.